hope you had a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, I'm aware that my videos are kind of late. The one for episode 7 is probably going to go out after the one for episode 8. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, Christmas and working and stuff happens you know life literally haven't had the time to edit and upload and just get it out there so but i will still post it if for anyone who's interested to see it even though it's like over a week overdue now but um yeah oh well anyways um so we're now on episode eight of runaways <sighs> um okay just trying to kind of remember what's been happening the biggest a few big things happened in the last episode, obviously. Number one, Victor got shot. So, is he going to actually die or live? Don't know. I guess we'll find out in a second. My bet is that he's gonna die. Or if he does survive, he's gonna turn into some kind of a monster <laughs> or something. Because I don't think Chase would bother to go out of his way, uh, the future chase, chase in the future, to go out of his way to deliver a message to his father in the past of don't pick up the fistigons, because yeah, it, it would have been a situation of life and death, so I think he was probably trying to save his life, so yeah, my, my bet is that Victor is as good as dead, but I guess we'll find out. Another thing, What's going to happen to Molly? Is she... Are they actually going to ship her off somewhere to kind of put her in isolation or, or just, you know, to get rid of her? I don't know what's going to happen there. Is she actually going to leave LA? This whole storyline is really taking an unexpected turn with all of this. And um, yeah, not quite sure where it's going to go. It's really deviating from the story of what I'd expected from the comics and I know I shouldn't expect everything in the comics to happen exactly in the show but yeah I have I have my questions and I have certain uh, concerns like for example the last episode again I felt like they spent a lot of time focusing on the parents and while they have an interesting story to tell um, I don't find it as interesting as the story of the kids. Like, I I, I just want to see more of the kids. Like, the actors are doing a great job, the parents, but... Yeah, I'm a little bit like, okay, okay, I know you've got your creepy religion and your intermarital affairs and the dramas and all that, but I'm... I don't know how I feel about all of it, to be honest. I don't know. Jonah. So we know that he's some kind of a celestial being. We don't know as of yet whether he is in fact a Gabor and whatever that is in the show. My initial idea was that he was an alien. He was Magistanian alien and that's how Carolina got her special powers because she's half alien. But I... I I really don't know. Is he a Giborim? Is he an alien? Is it one and the same thing? Is none of it the same? Like, I have no idea what he is. Like, it's been sort of hinted at that he is a celestial being. I wonder if we'll get to find out more in this episode exactly what he is and what does all of that mean for the rel religion of the, the church of Gaborim. And also he's using Frank for better or worse. I don't quite know what his plan is with him yet, but we know that Leslie doesn't like it. And is Alex going to be honest and tell Nico about how he truly discovered Tina's password or is he just going to give her another fake answer? But in all seriousness, I would very much like to know what you think about the whole way they've done the series thus far. Like, I I know they're focusing on the parents quite a bit, and the drama that they're giving us is not the type of drama I was expecting. It's more like, almost, almost like um, 
soapy drama mixed with sort of with science fiction because yeah they do have their church and they do have the pride and there is a lot of mysterious um, stuff going on but at the same time it's all like power plays and affairs and this and that and I don't know like I kind of want to see more actual action with the kids. I want to see them kicking ass. I want to see them using their powers. I want to see their relationships develop. I don't so much care about the affair going on with the parents and how the others are perceiving it. Um, yeah, I've kind of been reflecting on things over the past week and that's my honest opinion so far so I don't know if you agree with me or not but um, if you if you like you can share your thoughts on this and maybe we can have a conversation about it but um, I would very much like to see more development into the like with the kids coming into their own I guess it's building up and all of this is sort of coming to a point of resolution I, I, I guess but I guess one of my fears is that we'll only actually get to see them run away at the very end of the season, which is not what I wanted to see. Um, I feel like that's when the story really begins. And I wonder whether maybe it's easier to have this kind of like interpersonal drama, whether it's easier to have that than to have, you know, actual fights with superpowers and all that in terms of budget for the production company or whatever it is <laughs> but I'm like I'm a bit I'm getting a bit impatient and um, yeah I need I need more and that's not saying I'm not enjoying the show I really love the show but they're kind of headed in a direction that I am a little bit like eh, about so they better give me something more. I'm entering this episode 8 with lots of hope and yeah, let's just see what they've brought to the table this time. That is your if you don't go. Hey! Hey! Chase! Please! Your family has been through enough. What is Tina doing here? Damage control? How you knew my mom's password? Anything else you've been hiding from me? Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna tell you everything. I really need to talk and you're the only person who knows. Oh. Knows what? Maybe he knew about the pride? The last time we got a text with that message, the Hernandezes were found in pieces. I should have done something about that, about her back then. Let's just keep it cool, Jeffrey. Until we know what's up. Oh, I know what's up. So you have her? T was it Tina he was referring to? They were mostly just playing Battlefront. We're never getting off Endor hey, if you don't hey. get the speeder bike moving. And when I get back, you can tell me when you're finally gonna ask my sister out. Is that obvious? Only since you're 11. Oh my god, Amy and, and Two more Nico kind of look alike. Right. Good casting. Whatever's doing it is key logging. You see everything that you type. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Amy, we can fix it. Got this. Bye. Amy. Who was it that hacked her? The pride? An online creeper or or someone trying to a back door to get into wizard? Your parents. Who's your mom? Fuck. Ooh. So Tina's the loose cannon. The real creepy one. Is she the one that killed the Hernandez's? Sis? Yikes. It wasn't about the money. It was about beating her just once. It's the same dude. But she always wins, Amy. You know that. I'm not. I'm admitting that I was wrong, okay? And I should have done better. And I want to do better in the future, but Amy was my friend. And she was my sister. Because losing you forever, Nico. That'd be like another dad. Wanna grab some coffee? There was other stuff missing too. Her 
backpack. Maybe she was packing a bag and planning on running away. That sounds more like Amy than suicide. I need to search your room again. All right, yeah, I'll come with you. All right, I'm good, thanks. Ooh. I don't know, I wonder, I wonder if Amy knew about Pride and if maybe Alex knew about Pride too. I think he's still hiding stuff. Sorry about your father. <laughs> I'm the one that shot him. We have all known each other a long time. Yeah, we're more than a charity organization. We think of each other like family. Like uh, a pride? Pride. <laughs> Let me take him upstairs. He's got some cuts that need to be cleaned up. Good idea. No, I'm not leaving. I bet they've been dying to use that line for, like, yeah, the entire season. You're making this worse, Dale! I have a tendency to do that when I don't know what to say. H how about, this is a terrible idea, or let's not do this, or I'm sorry! Molly. I can't believe they're leaving her there. Honey. All we ever wanted. This, is, this stinks, crazy. man. And tossing me out like I'm some trash is good for me. Mm. Okay, I, I know this is hard to understand right now, but hopefully, in time, you'll see that we had your best interests in heart. I hope so. Till then, bite me, Stacy. Molly. Está bien, tranquilo, eh? This is so sad, man. Vamos a comer. It doesn't get any worse than that. Oh yeah. It does. Tsunami. Obviously that's a code that. word for something. Oh, I know what it's a code word for. I was having an affair and I shot my husband. Remember that. If you're ever in that situation. Oh. Oh god. Mom, what if he doesn't make it? What if he does? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want to see Victor. That wasn't him down there. Alive or dead. Or maybe what that Jonah guy gave him to fix it. What if that made it worse? Yeah, what if that Sarah makes you like all nice in the beginning and then he makes you an extra asshole afterwards? What would really change? Everything. Looks that would mean he didn't want to kill me. Oh, honey. He's got the battered wife syndrome. You still love him. You do realize we're not doctors. He's about to die. You need to do something. Why doesn't Tina just use him, her maybe. magic stick and, like, heal him? Oh. It's his axillary artery. Oh. 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 Man. Direct digital pressure is the best way to slow the hemorrhage. Where's Leslie? She wasn't invited. Too close to Jonah. He already thinks we're scoops. <laughs> she wasn't invited. Oh, God. It's good. And now you call Gert. Aw, how nice. I have no idea what's going on around here tonight. But there's no way I'm sleeping in my room alone. Hey, it's Gert. How about instead of leaving a message, you sign my petition demanding better wages for the Chinese factory workers who made this device? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. She's gonna pick up. Chase? Are they still okay? playing with these two? Nope. Definitely not okay. This is Nico. Do people even leave messages anymore? She calls Nico. Hey, uh, call me. I just spoke to Chase. Something happened to his dad. <gasps> Shit! Well, the good news is, he's not gonna bleed to death now. So what are you gonna do? Call Jonah? Hell no. I'm calling Frank. Frank? Ooh, maybe Frank's got some secret 
abilities that we don't know about. I mean, other than the healing gloves. Your parents sent me this just before they died. It's addressed to you. Oh. I kept it because, well, they were special people, and I... And look. Here you are. Oh, imagine if they tell her everything. Pues andale, ábralo. Who's a lion? My elephant. tell you everything later but for right now if you love your daughter you will shut the hell up and do what you're told i'll do what i want thank you very much good good huh she deserved that uh just sit anywhere so the dinosaur oh, oh, my oh no not there not there don't crush that just uh there yeah stop So cute. Chase needed you. Why would you even call me? Why didn't you just go straight to his place? Because you don't want to be alone with him. Because he kissed you and you don't like him. You like Nico, who likes Alex. We should go right away. I'll drive. <laughs> uh, fine, <laughs> but hurry. <gasps> he called me first. Ooh. So is he back in? Huh? Back in? Glum's gonna help. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, so he's got so the gloves. Light seems to back outside. in, back in the, the box, right? Back in, in Pride. He was in Pride. Into energy, then those gloves might also be some kind of regenerative technology. Please, Dale. Gunshot didn't kill him. He may bore him to death. Let's <laughs> just get this done. <gasps> Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> He's dead. Her face. <laughs> what? That's the guy I met at the gala. Friends of my mom, part of the church, stares very intensely. Isn't that just how all guys look at you? He didn't see them? He actually didn't see them. He was he drove right next to them. Let me guess. Jonah's gonna revive him from the dead. Cause he's got the power. Thank you, Tina. You always do the right thing. Tina what other him. choice did we have once Frank killed Victor with his magic mittens? <laughs> You're going to sacrifice Victor? That would be of little use. No, 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 no. <laughs> I intend to do the opposite. See, this is what I mean. Like, there's a I'm lot of time the focused way on... I get revived. The parents and blah, blah. Like, okay, next. I kind of almost want Victor to just be dead and get it over with so we can move on to something else. And who did you have in mind? the one responsible for this mess it's hers are you fucking kidding me ugh man Unless that is who you're referring to figure it out in the morning inside the elephant there's gotta be something because you put the I key did in its time. butt and then turn it no just oh, oh, oh and i know you might have missed a string of action movies that i made in the early aughts for the chinese market but my martial arts training it's very real <laughs> just, so, just let me see my dad let me see my dad hey <laughs> Okay, you know, maybe I should just do the touching. 
he injected into Victor did something to him, something terrible. So if anyone is to blame here, it's you. We both know that's not going to happen. Nice try, though. No offense, <laughs> Janet, but the team can survive without you. It's not like you ever really brought anything to the table. Is that really necessary? No, no, it's OK. Ouch. I'm glad you finally said it to my face. You've always judged me for being a stay-at-home mom. We know Victor wasn't easy, but if you'd come to us before, we could have helped. Really? Huh. Would any of you have Lol. actually stood up to him? A mind wipe drug that everyone here has felt pretty valuable. Um, we developed that patent together we in did. case anybody was going to vote against me. Of course. <laughs> but when push came to shove, neither one of you could save Victor. Yeah, well, Why don't we go get Frank? Put him in the box. He's not even in Pride. Not the worst idea. <laughs> Look, I don't care who you pick. <laughs> Victor is the only one of you that's actually necessary. Because if I don't revive him, you all die. And so do your children. Oh, that is not necessary. Stop! When my girls are involved, that is where I draw the line. Now, somebody is getting in that goddamn box, and personally, I don't mind if it's Tina. I'm just putting it out there. That's my vote. <laughs> Dale, what are you doing with the gun? I was on the table. Do you even know how to fire it? Nope. That means I am unpredictable, and therefore much more dangerous. I wasn't going to hurt anybody, man. You know that. Right. Okay, I'm just thinking about my kids. Oh, my God. I'm not playing with you. Right, man. It's me, Dale. I'm dropping. <laughs> Ah. See? Box him! Come on, we're all on the same side here, right? Time is running out. Either you get in the box, or your son gets in the box. Asshole. Janet, wait. No, I'm no. Gonna, I'll go. I'm going to go. Robert, what are you doing? I just have something private I'd like to say before it's too late. Can we have a moment alone? Please? Ooh. That is a slap in the face. You got two minutes. She actually found her phone. Wait, it's been hidden behind her bed for two years? The parents didn't bother to look behind the bed? Then you should at least get to say goodbye. He's going to miss you terribly. How am I even supposed to face him, let alone say goodbye? Think about what it'll do to him if he never gets to have that moment. Is he going to kill Victor? Oh, God, I hope so. I have to say goodbye to my son. Absolutely no, not. no, he's I'm not. not gonna he's going to get in the box I just himself. Want to hug him for a final time. If anyone dies tonight, it's me. Why, though? Like, okay, I know he cares about her, but Robert, please don't do this. You're being irrational. Random. What do you even care, Tina? Janet saves her child, and for that, she needs to die. Yes. Hey, maybe well, Robert is going to become absorbed into Victor and then Victor is going to be a nicer person because of it. Like having do that. Robert's energy in him. <laughs> True love. <laughs> so maybe Victor does get to die in the end. Nice job, Tina. What have you done? And for Robert? <laughs> Are you gonna blast me with that thing? Go right ahead. I'm thinking more of smacking you with it. <gasps> hey, enough, enough, Oh, enough. cat fight! No one enjoys a good cat fight more than me. That's because you're a dick. I thought of you two going at it. would be one for the ages, but I think we've had enough drama for one night, don't you think? They were literally gonna have a cat fight. I'm fine. See what I mean? Like soapy style sense. drama? It's. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. Teacher. Don't put him in the He's speaking in Japanese. That's so hot. Yes. 
this? <laughs> she doesn't know what a VHS is. How's she gonna find a tape player? And now, if something happens to the Pride, my dad dies. This video can't get out. Seriously, you actually want I your agree. dad to live? You do. After being how Since he when? is. Since I spoke to my dad, and I think he could help us. Well, if Frank Dean is our only hope, we are way more screwed than I realized. You two yeah. want to back out now? Chase! No, 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 Chase! Chase! No, no, no! No, no, Chase! No, 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 Chase! 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 So that was episode eight. Um, yeah, I feel like this episode didn't blow me away or anything. I don't know. I feel like yes, things are moving forward, but somehow things just feel very slow. In a sense, not as exciting to me as I thought. Um, I wonder who that was in Amy's room. It was either her mother or Jonah or Frank, right? I want to say it was Jonah because it was like the dark silhouette. I feel like kind of could have been him, but maybe he killed her and then they had to pretend it was suicide. But yeah, just mm. yeah, there's something about the way the way the story is being carried out. You know, it's too many petty interpersonal conflicts. And I, I don't know how I feel about it. I, something's just not really vibing with with that for me there. Um, but, you know, it could be just... Obviously, they're building it up, so maybe it'll all be worth it in the end. We've got episode 9 and episode 10. We're nowhere near seeing Carolina um, disclose or admit her sexuality um, or admit her feelings to Nico. They literally just teased on it for a second. And yeah, I just, I mean, it's all fine. Just the only thing I genuinely just want to see less of the parents and more of the kids going through stuff because the story should be about them not the parents um, and that's my final thoughts for this week I know it's a bit harsh but that's my honest opinion I'm gonna sort of think about things for this week and then see how I feel about it all um, yeah, so I'll see you next week.